Hello creators, welcome to another video. Today we are doing a creators vlog hop for the very first time and I'm so excited to share a whole bunch of wonderful projects with you. You can go into the description box below and click on all of the coordinating blog post links to hop along to all of the other demonstrators participating. Today I am casing the brand new annual catalog and using the forever greenery sweet collection to make a really beautiful card that is perfect for any occasion. The card I am casing today is on page 108 in the new 2020-2021 annual catalog. This is the Forever Greenery suite of products and I am so excited to be playing with it. I've already made several cards and I am so in love with all of these products. I am starting with a sheet of shaded spruce cardstock, which I'm going to use as my card base. I'm also going to use a scrap of Pretty Peacock as well as Whisper White. For the main pieces of greenery on my card, I am using the Coordinating Designer Series paper. And what's great about this paper is the coordinating dies cut out some of these pieces of these papers. And I'm so excited to be able to play around with so many different options that Stampin' Up! gives us in these sweet collections. So these three pieces here all have a coordinating die cut. I'm going to trim off a small section of each of those pieces of paper, and then I'm going to match them up with the coordinating dies. The card that I'm making is a smaller card than normal. You can find all of the measurements and materials I used on this project today on my blog at mcreations.com. I cut my card base and folded it in half. Then I trimmed up a piece of pretty peacock cardstock so that I can cut out a die from that. And then I'm going to emboss the front of that card base with one of the embossing folders from the Sweet Collection. I switched out my magnetic platform for the traditional platform, and now I'm going to emboss that beautiful, pretty peacock cardstock. I have a piece of scrap whisper white here that I'm just going to trim down to fit inside of my card base, and then I'm also going to use a piece of this so that I can stamp my sentiment. I'm taking the speckled dot stamp from this collection and I'm going to stamp it on the background of my card base with the same color. This adds a little texture in a watermark effect since the ink and the paper are both matching. Using the Pear Pizzazz Classic Stampin' Pad, I'm going to stamp my sentiment on a scrap of Whisper White cardstock. This sentiment is so beautiful. It says, to a friend that makes me smile. This is such a great sentiment because you can use it for so many different occasions. I'm taking my two inch circle punch and I am punching that sentiment out. Using my liquid adhesive, I'm going to put the white card mat inside so that I have a place to write my sentiment to the recipient. I'm using the gold thread from the Forever Greenery Trim Combo Pack, and I'm doubling it up and then tying a bow. Again, using my liquid glue, I'm gonna put that on the back of this floral greenery piece that I cut out of the Pretty Peacock, and then I'm going to stick that down as the first layer on this card. I'm going to adhere those DSP cutouts with glue dots onto the front of my card base. I'm matching up the location of these pieces on my card best as I can with the copy of this project in the annual catalog. I'm going to use some Stampin' Dimensionals to adhere my sentiment to the top of these pieces. And this dimensional sheet actually came out of a paper pumpkin kit. They do not sell them this large. I just needed to use these up and it's a great way to use those materials that you get in that paper pumpkin subscription. If you're interested in that, you can visit my website and click on the paper pumpkin link for more details. 
and this card is finished i really hope that you enjoyed this card today if you did please give the video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and don't forget to go down into the description click on the coordinating blog post link and hop along to all of the other demonstrators participating in the first ever creators vlog hop thanks so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye